Hi, it's Branch Whitney. Today I'm going to share you some of the training tips I've been using in my preparation to climb Mount Humphreys later this month. Mount Humphreys in the Sierra is a very challenging peak. It's just a little bit under 14,000 feet. The uh, round trip mileage is 17 miles and it's over 4,600 feet in elevation gain. It's a pretty serious day hike. Well, the first thing I did is I lost weight. On October 1st, 2015, I was 210 pounds. Yesterday, August 11th, I was 177 pounds. That's over 30 pounds I lost. It's going to make, make it a lot easier for me to climb up the mountain. Not only that I'm moving less weight, less body mass, but easier on my knees and my ankles and my feet. So if you need to lose weight, that would be one of the biggest tips I could tell you if you're planning to climb a serious peak, is to lose weight. The second thing I've been doing is hiking a lot up in Mount Charleston. As many of you know, Mount Charleston goes up to just about 12,000 feet. I've done Charleston Peak three times this summer, done Mummy Head and Toe once, and tomorrow I'm doing it for the second time, and other various peaks, so I'll be comfortable at elevation. The third tip I've been doing is I joined a rock climbing gym. So Mount Humphreys is exposed class four. So I want to get real comfortable with the exposure and the rock climbing gym allows me to do this. It's very efficient. Now what I've been doing while I'm climbing in the gym is wearing the same approach shoes I'll wear when I climb Mount Humphreys instead of wearing rock climbing shoes which would give me artificial confidence in the rock climbing gym but I would never wear them doing a long hike like that. Other thing I'm doing is I'm down climbing instead of letting the auto belay belay me. This will make me more confident when I have to down climb Mount Humphreys. And also in the rock climbing gym I'm not doing any dynamic moves where you jump and catch a hold. Uh, one, I would never do that out in real rock and two, it's very very hard on the shoulders and joints. I mean, it's fun, but is it really worth it? So I'm trying to make my climbing in the gym very realistic, or as realistic as I can to the climbing Mount Humphreys. So those three tips, I hope that helps you if you're preparing to climb a serious peak. Hey, this is Branch, and I'll see you at the peak.